Okay, coming to the 2013 one, same question like we had before. The only difference now is they are asking for Lamai, uh, the Munada. They are asking about this 2013 there's a TOT. Another, there's another question. Okay, we'll do. Okay, I'll open the past paper thing and we'll do. Okay. Table below shows the number of goods of X and Y which the two countries A and B produce using a composite resource unit. Can you tell me, Lamai? The table here, have they given us input the output data? 2012, there's another question. Oops. Shall we, uh, shall we take that in the uh, unit 10 class then? If I have not put it now, because I entered that recording, otherwise that goes off. Yeah, we'll do it with unit 10. Okay. So tell me, Lamai, this one. Is this input or output data? The table below shows the number of goods, good X and Y, which the two countries A and B can produce using a composite resource unit. What is this 100, 200, 300, 400? This is output, right? With one resource unit, how much of goods they can produce? They are asking, assume that each country specializes in the product in which it has a comparative advantage. The rate of exchange rate suitable for each country to gain from international trade. Ah, so they are asking for 1x, what is the uh, exchange rate? Okay, what is the exchange rate for one unit of x? How do we do this? Lama? You have to calculate okay, the opportunity cost. The, internal exchange rate for the country now see all the answers are saying one x no so only if we calculate for x it's enough you tell me in country x what is their internal exchange rate yes see, i'll uh, show this to you this way if you take country x okay country x if they produce sorry country a no country a country a if they produce 100 units of X, they have to sacrifice 200 units of Y. Do you all agree with me? For 100 units of X, if they produce that, then they can't produce 200 Y. That is their rate. So then tell me, Namai, in country X, for one unit of X, how much of Y should they sacrifice? That's your opportunity cost also. For one unit of X, country A, ah, two Y. So what is this, Lamai? This is what you call the internal exchange rate. In country A, one unit of X is equal to two units of Y. One unit of X is equal to two. That's the price, the internal exchange rate. If you give one X, in exchange, you can get two units of Y. Balamu, country Y, country B will tell me the uh, this thing for country B, when they produce 300 units of X, they can't produce 400 units of Y. That is their price. So, for one unit of X, what is their exchange rate? For 300, if it's 400, for one, it is how much? For one, it is 1. 1.3. 1.33 now for one unit of x it is 1.331 so this is also now my you all know this is also their uh this is also their opportunity cost name. now we don't have to find how much is one unit of y because all our answers are saying one x equals how much name. okay so then what is the exchange rate lamai can you tell me who specializes in x who specializes in x Country A or country B? Country B, right? Because they have the lower one. For 1x, they have to give up only 1.33. So now the trade happens. You tell me, Lamai, in very simple terms, this exchange rate in country X, sorry, in country B, one unit of X is equal to 1.33y. In country B, if they give one unit of X, they can get 1.33 Y in return. So if they want to export this to country A, they would expect Monad. 
for one unit of x, they would expect more than 1.33, no? Because in their country itself, for one unit of x, they can get 1.33y. So if they want to export this to country A, they will expect more than 1.3. So country B wants more than more than 1.33y for one unit of x. Then can you tell me the price that country A will be willing to pay? In country A, for one unit of x, they are already paying 2y. So if they want to buy it from the other country, uh, they will be willing to pay less than less than 2y. So then Lama, you get a range near them. So for one unit of x, the mutually beneficial exchange rate has to be more than 1.33y, less than 2y. Find the answer that satisfies that. Not equal to 1.33 or not equal to 2. More than 1.33, less than 2. Find the answer. First one, does it satisfy? No. 1x, 1y, you can't. It has to be something between 1.33 to 2. More than this, less than this. Uh, 1x is 1.3? No. It has to be more than 1.33. Wrong. 1x, 1.5? Ah, looks fine, no? So for 1x, if they can exchange 1.5i, it makes sense. Looks like an answer. 1x 2y, no, it has to be less than 2y. Wrong. 1x 3y, definitely, no. So third one is your answer. Why less than 2 lamai? Because this country is the one that exports now. Country B will export x. Country A will be the ones importing x. So in their country, for 1 unit of x, they can buy 1 unit of x by paying 2y. So why will they buy it from another country for more than that? So that is why country A, to buy one unit of X, they will be willing to pay less than 2Y. Because in their country itself, this is equal to 2Y. We'll go to that in detail with proper logic, how it works and all in the seminar. Uh, for now, I'm hoping the basics are fine. Because again, I'm not going to theory here, right? Because it's a past paper class. Hoping you all remember your theory that you all would have learned. Is that fine? Step 35 is answer number. Okay. Right. Then we'll go into uh can you check two thousand thirteen? Is that it or is there more questions that I have I missed any question? Just check uh question number thirty-six in the 2013 year level paper. What is it about? Is it any only this, no? Just check now. Sometimes I would have not typed. 39. What is 39? Alright, so then shall we do turn and let me share the uh, past paper itself. Give me a second until I load the past paper. Mm. Desktop available on 2000. Past papers 2013 available. The question paper. Mm. One question like the Question 39 now. Right. right. I'll share this on the screen. It might not be there in your future case. I've not typed it. I will uh, put it in the unit number 10 questions. Okay. This is 2013 levels question 39. What we just did was uh, this one now. What we just did was 36. Okay. Now we'll go to 39. A country's terms of trade stands at 150. Ah, so currently they are saying TOT is 150. And they're saying since 2010, the average price the country received for its exports has increased by 20%. Thus, the average price paid for its imports. Let me show you. Okay, let me just color the uh, other part of this. Okay. Uh, on this Zoom whiteboard is very annoying now. They have changed the way that it's done, which has become. I, I, Found it very enough. Okay. You tell me, Lamai, your TOT is equal to Munad. TOT is your export price index divided by 
your import price index into 100. You know, Lamai, in the base year, that is in the base year, that is the year that we compare it with, TOT, export price index, import price index, everything is 100. So you tell me, the current with the TOT is 150. Okay. They are saying, since 2010, the average price received for exports has increased by 20%. So how much should be your export price index? I told you in the base year, everything is 100. Now, it has, if it has increased by 20%, how much should your export price index be? Export price index has to be 120. In the base year, it is 100. They are saying it has increased by 20%. Okay. And then they are asking what has happened to your import prices. Can you calculate, Lama? Can you calculate the import price index and tell me, move things around, right? Uh, and tell me how much do you get? How much is our import price index? 150 equals 120 divided by import price index into 100. So you move the import price index and the 150, you can get your answer. How much do you get? Import price index is 80. Right. But that is not our answer. So in the base year, import price index is 100. Now it's 80 kyanne. It has fallen by how much? Tell me the percentage. Come on. Earlier it was 100 in the base year 100. Ne. Now it has become 80 kyanne. It has fallen by 20%. So which one is our answer then? Can we why can we go with answer number? Uh can we go with answer number uh four? Yes, in the base here, everything is 100. Can we go with four? No, right? See, 100 has become 80. That means it has fallen by 20%. Be very careful. Okay. So it has to be minus 20%. So once again, just to summarize this Lamai, in the base here, export price index, import price index, terms of trade is all 100. Base year, think of it as your initial year. Okay. They are saying country's terms of trade currently is 150. So base year it was 100 that we know. They are saying 2010 is the base year. Now it is 150. So TOT, I put 150. They are saying price received for exports has increased by 20%. So that means your export price index in the base year is 100. Now if it has increased by 20%, Export price index has to be 120. And they are asking by how much would have import price index price would have changed by. So first we calculate the import price index. We have the equation. We move things around and we calculated import price index is 80. So etavatalamai, base year import price index is 100. Now it is 80 gyanne. Import price index would have fallen by 20%. I'm hoping you all know 100 to 80 is a drop of 20%. Okay. That's how answer number three comes. Is that uh, okay, Lamai? Shape? Fine. Okay. That is the 2013 A-level paper. Done. Okay. So this question might not be there in your uh, unit. Hoping you all went through that. Done. Mm. Okay. Recording. Done. Let me end.